picture, picture the, like a genie's lair with like lavish gold. Oh, what are you it's fucking, it's fucking <laughs> Doctor Strange. <laughs> with like lavish curtains everywhere Sorry. and like piles of gold. And like, like it, it, it's unbelievable. The outside is this rickety shit house. How is it like a fucking castle inside? Uh, can I check for magic? You don't know it. I would say. Uh, plus what, four can I, plus I was gonna say, four. can I do an investigation check? Plus four. I'll go with advantage because. Oh, well, this is sort of magic, magic, but we'll still give it a roll. I'm cautious of this. Sixteen. You definitely detect that this is there is some powerful magic here. I cautiously try to tell these guys it might not be worth entering until we get have until we have a uh, Roscoe. Roscoe. I was about to say more again. What do you suspect, Elf? I detect powerful magic. Do you agree with this, Antip? Uh, what's your, um, uh, Arcana mod? I throw one of my darts onto the floor inside. Uh, what's your uh, Arcana mod? Because you said you wanted to roll as well. Dude? What? <laughs> Me? Yeah, yeah. I, I said, what's your uh, magic Arcana mod? Uh, one. 15. You also sense, though you're not a uh, caster per se, you know that there's this strong, like, magical aura. I'm cautious. Okay, what do you suggest, what do you suggest then? Why do we wait for Wilson? I jump in. You jump in? Sure. So, Antia jumps in. The second that she hits the line of war, she disappears. Ha! <laughs> when, you, when you go in, you are transported into this place. Oh, okay. Um... I cautiously stick my hand in there. You stick your hand in? You feel, as it sticks in, you see a veil of magic envelop it. And if you stick it back out, your hand slides out and it's perfectly fine. Okay. I pick up Sparrow and vine with him. Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> you are sucked in, enveloped. The door behind, the door that was once behind you, is replaced by this brilliant double door that are made out of pure gold. And inscribed on the door uh, is a mural with Dragonborn. Oh. Does it say Full Story Dar anywhere? As in the race. Okay. <laughs> Put me down this instant. Wait here for it. Put me down, please. I, uh, pat his head and pretend his child. Pour it. I'll ask you again. It's all nice. Put me down. Please. Put a piggyback right. Behind you. <laughs> into Pork's back. Thank you, Curtin. And it just goes. Wah! And it like nestles right over you again. Okay, Is animal friendship by touch? Let me look up the spell. Where are we? You are in this. You are in this lavish place that you saw when you opened the door. Okay, you never made that clear because I was just thrown somewhere and then never heard from again. And behind you is a brilliant double doors, and inscribed are like um dragonborn, different sort of styles of clothing. One, a few of them look like holy warriors, I, and a few of them look like the spell casters. I cross my arms and stamp my foot once. Just, really <laughs> fucking hard. It makes like a like small audible no noise. The stone here, very durable. Animal. Friend. I get up my crow, but no. <laughs> <laughs> just start breaking shit. So, uh, let me just look up animal friendship. Ah, uh, that's a D&D wiki, so I won't be looking at that, because that's shit. Yeah, it is. Roll 20 is probably the best. This spell lets you convince a beast that you mean it no harm. Choose a beast that you can see within range. It must see and hear you. If the in beast's intelligence is 4 or higher, the spell fails. The act of its intelligence. Sorry, he just wants to cast Animal Friendship on, on the Tyrodon. Yeah, and once I've done that, I'll cast all the animals, because I don't really want to realize I'm not gonna have a chat with your head. So, while 
Oh wait, I've got the stats open over here. So, while he's doing this... Uh, what's the save for it? Otherwise, a uh, save throw. Uh, DC. So, what would uh, Auntie be doing as you as you hear the children crash through and... <laughs> I, I feel like she's had kind of experience with this kind of magic, and she's just standing there across, with her arms crossed, waiting, because she kind of knows what's about to happen. She's just like, yep, just, just waiting. She thinks uh, she knows what's gonna happen. That's what I'm saying. She, she, yeah. She's like, oh yeah, I've seen this before. What? Why me? I'm gonna get one. Let's see, DC. No, I have to roll the save for it. Oh, unless Grey wants to roll the save for it. Or what? Your pet for animal friendship. Yeah, sure. Man. Well, really bad place. Mm -hmm. Uh, just do it. It succeeds. Do I notice this as it happens? Yes, you notice that Pork summons this, like, energy and beams it towards the Tyrion. <laughs> and the Tyrion, you, you, you cast this spell towards it. It seems to be working, and then the Tyrion just goes, Rah! and then it just dispels, and you can see, and it hisses at you, just goes, Shh! and then it, like, goes behind fucking Sparrow and just goes, I I look at po I look at Porik Porik like what did you just attack it? <laughs> no animal friendship. I question uh, so I question mark. Spells. Spells. I tilt my head again. I don't know what that is. You just you just do the what face and you just go, what? Yeah yeah what? <laughs> okay. Spells. Porik, the can you limit the less? For first level. First level yeah. So just... expended one. So, like, Alright, I can. S I understand you're a druid, so I understand that you weren't gonna hurt it, but like, he is getting lost and agitated. Okay. It's annoying. <laughs> and it like nestles with you again. Mean it. I, I think it's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> and then you you hear the doors behind you shut, blue, blue flames light all around you, and before you, this. Brilliant golden dragonborn in these robes steps forward and says, Ah, you must be the friends of Ruska the Tempest. Does he look Mount Orish? I nod. No. I Damn it, I was, was gonna give him fruit and be like, Hey there, big boy. This is the thing Anya was waiting for, so she just kind of nods. She's like, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he says, Careful what you think. And says, I will, I will gladly disintegrate you if you tease my kind. Oh no, I mean, I mean no harm. Yes, and uh, I can see from your thoughts that you were going to try and bring me along with you. I look at Porik with a question mark. Yeah, that's a lot. Right. So, you're the three that he's told me a bit about. Who's As the douche one in the group? Pardon? Has he told the douche one in the group? Who's the worst in the group? What? What do you mean by worst? What? What do you. What? He probably suspects you of anything. I'm going to talk to any points to Auntie and Sparrow about you two from now on. <laughs> what? Okay. Why? What? I, I'm confused. I would like yeah, to yes, ask yes, guidance yes. on Sparrow. Yeah, when when two of you talk, I can't hear either of the words. I'm just saying. Oh, basic, basically, Austin was uh, thinking something. The Dragonborn Wizard re read his mind. <laughs> And basically, and basically said, and uh, um, Pork was like, who's the worst one in the group? Who does he think is the worst one of the group? And now he's like, I'm going to talk to you two from now on. <laughs> All right, then. I, I'm just, I'm just I, I, like, I was going to say, can I just think in my mind? Can, I'll, I'll just be thinking, can you actually read my mind? Just in my head. Impressive. <laughs> <laughs> and I see that you have a mighty Tyrodon here. And he, he goes up to it and pets it, and the Tyrodon just sort of like, is a bit suspicious at first, but then goes. It's fine. Nuzz it's nuzzles fine. up, actually nuzzles yeah. up to him. It's oh, like, ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, his animal you. friendship worked. He likes you. <laughs> it, yes, quite. It's called not being an idiot. <laughs> Damn, he called me out. <laughs> so he says. So you're probably trying to find out about the uh, black marks appearing on all the dead bodies. I know. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Very well. Well. From what I can say, obvious necromancy. Necromancy. Thanks. Yes. Uh, call it dark energy, if you will. It's the very opposite of l Why life force. Why not necromancy? 
I'll say roll d20 with advantage, but you'll probably know the basics. It's Arcana as well, yeah? Yep. So that's well. With advantage, just see if you get that 20. 17, that's, that's 21. Yeah, you know that necromancy is the use of negative energy or necrotic energy to either drain life force from things or bring life into things and make them into undeath. Can I ask the Dragonborn on what the local gods are for the Dragonborn? If I can do anything about that. Why, it's always been the same too. Tyomet and Bahamut. I choose Black Bahamut! <laughs> yes, that's a brilliant joke that you got there. Yeah. Shit! <laughs> He's watched the door click. <laughs> he says, Bahamut the Platinum Dragon, the first of all dragons, is the lord of, well, you could say very nice scenes, and you could say Tyomet is the very much opposite of him. I ask if there are any local churches or shrines to either of them. <laughs> he, he laughs, he just goes, uh, how long have you been staying in the city? I say Black Lotus. Well, right. like, dude, you should know this. Your character should actually know this. I don't, well, know, I well, would, I don't think I would have gone to no, this part of the no, city. Before. You you I, asked I, like I, fifteen people. <laughs> yes, and I, I said, DM, reminding you that all shrines in this place have been destroyed, oh, yeah. and religion is very much on ice in this city. Shit. <laughs> and he's like. <laughs> My word, you must not pick up on things very much. Well, it would explain a lot of things. Um, yes, of course. Religion in this city is very much looked against, not because of being religious, just the fact that, well, religious nuts exist, and they tend to flock to this city for some reason. I very much expect that's why this necromancy is happening. I'd like to pray to my god again. Right for now. Yes. I want to ask there. him about the Black Lotus. Don't do that says, again. The Black, the Black Lotus, hmm. After this is all sorted, I, I can help you out with this, but I ver my people are getting targeted by this as well, and I need this sold. Deal. I just say. Uh, you don't even have to say it. He says, I see that's a deal that we have there. He can read my mind. Reading everyone's minds. I smile. <laughs> I don't have to talk. Do you have weed on your mind? Does he have drugs on his mind? <laughs> he wants to no, smoke my... a bomb. <laughs> How much do you want to smoke now? <laughs> do you want to bang one? You, you just hear like the same sort of childish giggle that you heard before. Okay, nothing happens. Nothing happens, he just says, oh, praying to Evandra. <laughs> That's not going to do much against the Neb. Oh, <laughs> I, I, uh, I ask, ask him, him about the Neb. Oh, the Neb, the Hands of Fate, uh, she's a very stoic in his way sort of gods, as he's not easily persuaded to go off course. Evil? <laughs> he chuckles. No, he's not evil. He wants law in this world. Okay. But he wants it to be balanced. He may be law master. Hmm? If you mean by keeping order in this yes. world, <laughs> yes. I meant info, like, just like, you guys are too good. Let's just make it chaotic. Uh, Mr. Dragonborn, do you know if, uh, if there are any ways to get into the rule of the Ah, that's... Now... <laughs> oh, yes, sorry. Now, it's going to be tricky as... The one that's doing this, you're going to have to find who's actually killing these people. I'm he afraid. knows what's going on underneath the city. Uh, it's fuzzy. It's whoever's doing this is a very powerful spellcaster. Uh, sort of veil underneath the city. I pull out. Now I pull I'm out very surprised that. You, how do you know that? <laughs> Most people who visit the city can't even realize that there's a ruins under the city. It's sort of fuzzy, but I think that, uh, but after getting much more information and hearing more about this, the fella, I think he tried to contact me one night. Ah, I see. So yours was someone's fate that he can't quite read. I look I've at Sparrow of... like, why didn't you tell me this? Like, eh? Uh, uh, okay, she, so she's, I... she's just wondering yeah. why you're not Can I, uh, roll a perception check on her just to see if No, he goes, oh, your friend is wondering why you didn't tell her this. I love oh, this guy. I didn't, under I didn't understand. 
Besides, it's not I. I didn't understand, and I need to make sure I have more information. He, 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 he sort of. He, he, there's like he's now in like a recliner. Not like a medieval recliner, like a full on mid, like modern day recliner. He's like got his arms out. It's like, oh, don't worry about it, boy. He works in mysterious ways. I can tell you that this spellcaster has an assassin working for him, as from the marks. Mm, yeah. You're going to have to find where he is. And, well, I saw that fight that you had in the mall. It seems that his weapon. A very magical weapon that whatever he kills will come back as a zombie. I, Not a strong zombie. I recall the fight and get a little nervous at the thought of fighting more of those fucking things that I can't seem to hurt. I'm just thinking, like, yeah, my character just thinking. I wink at Anja and pretend to, like, start casting a healing spell, but don't. He's like, oh, that's a marvelous taunt you have there. Now let let the adult speak some more. <laughs> I pickle and just like lay down. <laughs> he, he he like you see him do his hand gestures. He like with telekinesis turns Parker away. <laughs> There's like a seat that pops up beneath Park. Sits him on it and then pushes him into a corner. I ask if he's got any pets. <laughs> and there's like a dunce cap that puts on his head. And he says, Oh yes, I have a lot of dragons. Can I play with any? Are they friendly? He just would say, he says, Wife, what did I say? Only talking to you two. And it's like, there is a wall that just goes around him. That should be better. Keep that away. I giggle. No, you're stuck in a wall. You're a strange If anything, I'd say this is a good chance to just go, like, just meditate or something. Yeah, I just, uh, trance. Trance? Alright. Yeah, I guess you just trance. Oh, I will say... You'll probably get get. I'll actually. I'll get to this after we sort all this out. So, speaking to you two. Can I hear anything? Yes. Hmm? Can I hear anything, bro? Or does it pure soundproof? It's like soundproof. Oh, well. You you guys also can't hear Pork. I imagine Pork's just like trance. and like tapping on it. I don't know. I'm just trance. Yeah. Well, I mean, first off. Oh yeah. And then, and I'm just like yeah. Fuck it. So you notice that Pork? You can't hear Pork at all. Okay. Good. I smile. <laughs> yeah, so I just, no, I just like roll my eyes. He's like touching his temples. Like that one was giving me quite a headache. So I, I nod. I was just, I would just want to say, like, despite, despite her being an idiot, she's, she, I swear, she has an indomitable will to just prank. Yeah. Anyway, yes. you're saying yes. Um, now I understand that you two might be afraid of the undead. I look surprised and try and fool him into the deception roll, please. He looks at you and says, He's like, he can... your, "Good luck hiding your thoughts." I just like, I just, just, I just go like, just Auntie. I just go to say to Auntie, like, just, just don't. <laughs> Might as well tell him. I know. It, it's it's all right. I understand. Back when I was first adventuring with R Roska's father, back in the old, good old days of the village of Nine, I also had a bit of a fear of the undead. It will get easier as you go along. Can't hurt. Uh, don't worry. I'm pretty sure with a bit more experience, you might be able to land a few more blows. That was an awful lot of bodies piling up, so there wouldn't be nearly as many. I can tell you that he is somewhere in this sector of the city. I don't know where. And he is killing. And... The morgue isn't where all the bodies were. They seem to be going somewhere, probably under the city. Um, and so and then you you hear behind you the uh, two massive gold um, doors open up, and Roska just goes like he looks huffed as he flashes in. He's like, she didn't fuck anything up, did she? And he, <laughs> he he's like he sees this like in like force field and Park in the corner and says, oh. Just... He goes up to the dragonborn and says, Sorash, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I I was going to be here, but... And he says, it's all right, friend. I know how our kind react around you. It's what... <clears throat> it's your father's image in you. And he says, hey, yes. Uh, anyway, so... Uh, and he, he just claps his hand and says, I've been discussing everything with your companions. I'm sure they can catch you up on it. I want to ask I one more thing. I much like repeating myself. I'm just going to say, can we just go a little skip up? Just tell me. Yeah, I'll say, 
You can't catch him up on it. He looks down and says, I, So you still Oh, what do you want to do? I, I wanted to ask the guy if he could teach me sign language real quick, or like a few phrases in it. And like, uh, but I want to think it because like, he can hear my thoughts, so like, whatever. Hey, he, he turns in tune and says, I can teach you some basic sign language. You can teach us? Yes, please. Yes, but, well, I have this ability, so I don't much, well, as long as I'm in this realm. Okay. I have this mental power. Mm. But if I'm outside, unfortunately, won't be able to read into your minds. And Would be a bit hard, but I can teach you very basic sign language. Yes, please. So you can. We'll, I'll update your sheet later with basic sign language, yep. and I'll update your um, sheet later with basic Just sign language. In case you're playing well. Yu-Gi-Oh and Magic. Sweet as. <laughs> there are no such thing as trap cards in Magic. <laughs> I, I say hello in sign language excitedly. <laughs> I like sign to everybody after my transcends. Hello! Oh, well, you know. <laughs> yeah, I can talk to you through sign. Oh wait, is it secret? Because, um... Uh, no, you're still in trance, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah so, you're trancing, and the, the sorcerer says, uh, Now, it seems like that this assassin has been taking down some foes around the... Perimeter as well. He's somehow been able to get out of the city undetected. I don't know the identity of this person. It seems this aura that this spellcaster is casting is affecting him too. It's very troubling. Oh. But uh, he, he he like claps his hands and the the room around you sort of warps and you see you're now above. Where, like, above the undesirable district with all, like, all the people down below oh. from a bird's eye view. Oh, shit. Okay. And you're not falling, you're just sort of floating in the air. He says, and he's like, now this is the undesirable district, and I've been sensing the present around here. And you notice that in the back corner of the undesirable district, there's, it's even, somehow... In this banged up district of crappy houses, there's this even more crappy house in the back. I've been sensing him around here. You might want to check over there. Okay. Now, if that's everything that everyone needs. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, that one's still in the corner. <laughs> he clips his fingers and Pork just teleports right next to you guys. I'm still on a trance. So, like, she wouldn't yes, but you're, you're aware of the world. I know. So, Hope is teleporting next to you guys in trance yeah. and says, I'll be sending you off around there to save you the trip. Thank you. And Roscoe says, before we go, he, and he pulls out this book. And it's a very familiar book. It has that dragon claw with a fireball enveloped around it. Oh. This was delivered a few weeks ago. And he says, ah, yes, my spell book. Maybe I will be able to go out on a venture sometime. Mm. <laughs> more of that when I'm more looking forward to the old days. And they, you see Roska and Sarash, like, grip their dragonborn arms. You can tell Roska is built compared to this other one. <laughs> He's golden claw, sort of more limp in this massive blue dragon claw. And they should, like, do that old, like, you know, close friend thing where they grip hands. You know, the sort of start of Predator, where Arnie and the black guy, you go, Oh, Vinny, you have been pushing up much muscles and stuff like that. Hmm. And it says, alright, and now you'll be off. And with, like, a puff of smoke, you are teleported in front of that rickety old house that you saw in your visions. Sweet. Wait, oh wait, you mean the one that we could see, but they couldn't? No. Oh. This one, this is, uh, uh, this wickety wooden house that sort of got its door just like, broken open. Okay. So... Mm. Mm. I'm not going in. <laughs> Last time it went well, not this time it won't. I'll say that all of you feel this aura of unease as you all can, you know, it's... Something about this place just puts you off. Do does it does it feel like the, ho the other house did? Wait, no, I was gonna say if I'm oh, gonna yeah, yeah. Uh, it looks very it feels similar but not the same. Okay. Ten, so that'd be about twelve. Yeah, unnatural top, yeah. 
Okay. So, ta- investigation. Yeah, plus these on national call. Yeah. I'll say you look around and some reason there's just this patch in the back of the heart just left over. I, 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 I identify everyone else about it. I climb to the top of it. No, it's like a hatch that goes down. No, I climbed to the top of the house. Everyone, the hut. I found a hatch. Oh, you're going on top of the house, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So you go on top of the house, I I'm just, guessing you're just trying I, to look out? I just want the lay to land, yeah. So, uh, you pull out your map, and it looks very similar to the map. This sort of, sort of, as you're sort of close to the edge of it, you sort of see out over the walls. Yeah. And you can see this sort of, sort of, grassland that turns into a forest. And the forest curves into a sort of mountainous region. I want to confirm if I can still see that house from before. Uh, yeah, you can still see it, but it's a bit... It's in a... Again, it's in this different spot. Like, you you saw it from where the... Where the, uh, Orc Citadel is, and that's sort of on the other... Not on the other side of the city, but that's like... If you were facing north, that's to the south of you. I jump down and look to Porrick, and I say, house, still there. You don't know? You, what would you do? Do you think Porrick, Porrick would probably ex- exit trance by now? She only would yeah. if, you could, like, if you could sense something off like that, so I feel like she would be like, just exiting. Yeah, just I tell her only anymore. because she's the only oh. other one oh. who saw it besides me. Or well, just see if you can see it, not see I it can't through, run. but... Yeah. I'll I'll check see. Yeah. yeah. So, perception, plus four. Just don't, yeah, you sort again, it's in this, you feel that sort of magic aura from before, and it, again, it feels off. Like, oh, yeah. it's, it, again, you're in the north, and you're seeing it north of you, and last time you saw it, it was to the south of you. Uh, I don't like it. Uh, R- Roska uh, looks at the, looks at the, um, like, hatch, and the ladder down, and says, um, you all go before me, I'm sort of... And he, like, with the butt of his sword, just clangs his armor. Just... <laughs> yeah. I'll meet you down there. I'll just... I'll climb up. I'll climb up faster. Yeah. Yeah, I'll head down. We'll, we'll, uh, very easy... Uh, just... Athletics roll. I think mine's me? plus one. I'm looking at the check. A- everyone's gonna plus have one. a... Plus one. Can't it be yeah. acrobatics? Athletics. I was gonna say if it's acrobatics, then I'm plus. It's four. athletics because you're sort of like going down. Okay. Oh, oh, I do a bit of stumble. You sort of go down and you feel like a, a few no, of the No, I go down before. Ah, like, uh, before... uh, it's uh, this is Sparrow. This is me. Not you yet. Not you yet. No, but I so said I go down. I, I like race him down. Oh, so you're going to try and go first? Yeah, that's what I said earlier. <laughs> this is the problem because sometimes you just can't hear what I say. Uh. Oh, so sure. Yeah. You, you, so you, you go, like, you sort of jump over a sparrow as he's going to go down, and you're just like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> like, very quickly, just, nope. <laughs> and you, you, you have, like, it's very rickety. A few of them, a few of the, like, beams don't feel stable, but you're able to go down much easier. I'll say that you can re-roll that roll. Six. Six? I'll say... Still a bit rickety, but like maybe one of the poles snap, but you're more like, oh, I'm gonna fall. It's like, eh, holding on. Okay, I'll just go for the one boy. Uh, you going down? What's my uh, athletics? Your athletics is like two. Should be at least plus one. Zero. zero. It's zero. Insane. It's just straight roll. Fuck it. One. Seven. Seven. I did better than you. Yeah, like, you see the beam that's broken, and you're like, oh, I can avoid this. You go down a bit more, and then the beam boy, that one breaks, and it's like, ah, ah, but then you go back, down a bit further, and the one boy, that one feels perfectly stable, and you're able to make it down a bit easier. I just, like, <laughs> just as I go down there, you just snap. The entire ladder breaks my stuff. Uh, and and Rosk is just like, Alright, I'm going down, and he just fucking does that classic, yeah. like, ladder go, Woo! Yeah. And then when he hits the bottom, you just hear, like, metal on, like, rock just... 
Ching. <laughs> Nah, it's just like a Now, scene. who has dark vision? Me! Yeah, the elves do. The elves do, huh? No, the dragonborn doesn't. I don't think I do, so it's just the elves. So, so Rossil jumps down and says, Oh, shit. I produce flames, so I just. So you, you produce flame? Uh, he's he's producing flame, which is like his. It, it takes, I think, 10 foot? It's a 30 foot of. Um, like. Mm. It's visible light, and then a 30 foot. Uh, uh, over that, it's like the light, so it's like 60 foot of light. I know. So you're able to see effectively 30 foot. For you guys, you'll be able to see a bit further because of your dark vision, but... Yeah. yeah. I know that that's the most helpful <laughs> thing she's he, ever done the, since joining he, us. He could, because yeah. dim light makes normal with the dark vision. Yeah. But everything else is dim, so it's a bit more hard. And, yeah, so for Ross, for um, you, Sparrow, it's a bit hard to see up ahead, like... That dim light, it's doing something, it's like you can make out sort of like the small shapes and stuff, but it's like hard to tell what they really are. This is why I'm glad I didn't grab the poison spray. <laughs> <laughs> I, and, and you hear, <laughs> and as you see this beak try and like barrel its way through. Yeah, what's, what's, be quiet, please. What's a Tyranon strength? What? It's gonna try and force its way to its master. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it just sort of breaks through. Mm -hmm. and you you, 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 oh. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, you get, no. you get an actual inspiration for that. Yay! So, yeah, it, it, before it would have just been like half its body in, but it just spawn. <laughs> now, instead of this simple latch that opens up, there is just a hole where oh. you guys were. And, and Roscoe looks up and says, And now there's light pulling in because of it. Oh. So it's like, Well, we'll. Good, good job on producing that thing, but it seems like we'll at least have light when we try and come back to it. Well, it makes it easy for us to get in. Thanks, there. To get back out, yeah. Yeah, yeah. For us to get back out. So, 